I'm not scheduled to do a tour with you or anything, but I thought I might give you a little orientation to this room. You could argue these men don't need a tour guide. So World War II, you're, you're familiar with World War II, I know you are. There isn't much in this room they don't already know about. The artist researched squadron photos. They know it pretty well. So he looked at uh, a number of missions, World War II missions with B-17s. Mac McClure was a gunner on a B-17. And so when he painted this mural for the opening of the museum in 1976, Everything about it is historically accurate. Buster so Chittister flew one in World War II as well. This particular scene was about 11.30 in the morning on August 15th, 1944. They know how real this is. After this mission, about 10 days later, this entire crew went to another airplane and they were, all but two of them were killed in a shoot down. Because they've been there. It's one of the greatest places I've been in, in many, many years. And I'm glad I got to make it. Buster knows. Uh, our airplane was hit three, three times and this is just this one little piece. He keeps an artifact of his own around his neck. And then I had a machine to drill it so I could put up my dog chain. The tour is a reminder of what these men have seen. And when we get the actual veterans in the museum, we want to make sure that they're given due honors and recognized for their contribution. They don't need a guide. I saw you guys. I, th I thought I'd come down and give you some orientation. Thank you, man. you bet. But they certainly appreciate it. Yeah, it's one of the great days of my life. <laughs> Recognition comes naturally on this trip. I do not feel like I have given anything compared to those men and women that served and died in the Second World War. Mutual respect from a veteran of one era Don the Walker. No. to another. No. Don Fox was on an aircraft carrier during the Korean War. This is something I want to really see. So he's naturally drawn here. Very impressive. To the memorial for his era of service. And how cold it was. You can see their ponchos and everything to try and keep them warm and dry. Yet while he stares at this seen from a time he knows well. This is so terrific to be able to see these statues here. His mind is somewhere else. What I remember and think about is those men and women that died so we could have our freedoms today. That's what I remember. On a day recognizing his service, he's thinking about those whose service led to the ultimate sacrifice. Sometimes it brings a little tear to me to think about what they have given so I can have my freedoms. Steve Steger, Nine News.